Oh, hey there, everybody. Just let me do a quick tech check to see if this is working. All right. So it's been a while since I created a live stream. And I think the last one I tried to work through, I had some tech issues. But today I just wanted to force myself to jump in here and share a tool that I've been using with my clients. <clears throat> and um, I just wanted to kind of get your feedback on the tool um, just by doing a quick screen share and uh, showing you kind of like a walkthrough of the planning tool. So the, um, a similar tool that was on the market for DIYers was called Income Strategy. I think of what, what it was called. Um, the, it was Income Strategy or Income Solver. I kind of forget which one it was. But it was a consumer-facing, DIY-friendly income, retirement income planning tool. And the tool was recently uh, acquired by T. Rowe Price and was um, kind of eliminated from the uh, um, tech stack of the DIYer and that left a lot of DIYers a little bit frustrated I think because they were using the tool for creating different withdrawal strategies and income planning and kind of um, um, using it to optimize their their distribution of, of their retirement funds and there really isn't another tool on the market that is very hyper focused on retirement income distribution and withdrawal strategies and optimizing uh, to reduce taxes and um, all these things that we want to optimize for. And so I've been testing out a tool called Income Lab. And Income Lab is a, it's unfortunately only available to advisors, but advisors can definitely give um, the, uh, um, you know, end user um, access and the DIYers access if they so choose. Um, I do that um, within my financial planning business. So um, after this video, if you're interested in getting access to Income Lab and getting some sort of guidance and help from me, just go to secureyourretirementnow.com and, um, and then we can get in touch with um, adding Income Lab to your tech stack. But without uh, jumping to that, I just wanted to show you what is going on with Income Lab, what I like about it, how the, there's a position um, for it within your, your retirement planning toolkit. All right, so here is, I'm gonna start by going over one of the most, I would say, popular features of the Income Lab software program is, it, this is called the Life Hub, um, this area. And what's cool about it is that it makes it really simple. It brings together everything in your financial life, your income, assets, expenses, liabilities, savings, savings and transfers and insurance all in one place. Um, and then what you can do is you can, you can either zoom in um, individually or what you can do is expand um, all of the categories by using these different uh, uh, views. So up here, is where you can select between the condensed or the detailed. And so let's just detail everything. So this is uh, really cool because you can see everything in your financial life in one place, in one page, and drill into each area if you want. You can also see how your accounts will change over time by just hovering over the particular investment account and whether it's going to be depleted, whether it's going to continue to grow, um, and um, what the trajectory of each account is according to your spending. And you can do the same thing for if you have any um, liabilities or debt, you'll see that same sort of chart. Um, so this is just a really good snapshot of everything going on in your financial life. You can go year over year. So this is 2023, you can even go out 
to, well, the end of retirement, but you can see how your accounts and different components of your retirement plan and your wealth will change over time, such as your social security. You can see how that increases over time. You can see how your portfolio distribution strategy um, and in uh, where you're pulling from will change. And also you can see how your taxes will change over time according to what your current uh, um, plan is as far as if you're doing Roth conversions. That's why you don't see a whole lot of taxes being paid. The other cool area to the Life Hub um, feature is a Sankey chart. And this is really useful for understanding the flow of money, um, I guess, in a little bit of a different visual way. So let me just go back to the first year of retirement. Okay, so actually let's go one year after. So this is how you can just visually see your the flow of your money um, and, and where the, the money is flowing from, such as your IRA, your brokerage account, and um, other income sources such as social, social security, and then where it's flowing to, which is pretty cool. You can even see the, the Medicare IRMA and long-term capital gains taxes that's forecasted, uh, living expenses, your, your um, federal tax and state tax. So this is really useful for people to kind of just visually understand the flow of their money. Um, this is also um, beneficial for, let, let's just say, um, um, the, you know, uh, I guess traditionally, I don't like to necessarily, you know, use this as the standard, but traditionally, you know, the, the um, you know, one spouse will um, handle the financial life um, and handle the financial plan. And typically that's, that's like the male. Um, and, and, you know, it's, let's just say that like, you know, I were to die tomorrow, you know, my wife, Elena, um, she could easily, very easily understand the, um, cause she really doesn't deal with too much of the, the bigger picture planning. Um, but she's able to, um, really quickly and easily understand stepping into the situation how money is flowing in any particular year and kind of take over the retirement planning and whatnot pretty somewhat seamlessly so i guess for like succession planning of like the person who's in charge of the financial life this this sort of way and these visuals make it really easy for somebody to step into the financial plan um, you know whether they are an, uh, you know seasoned at at the uh, at the task or financial planning or whether they're like just brand new to retirement planning and how that works. So for beginners and people who are stepping into the the shoes of taking over the retirement planning, this is a really good kind of visual. Both of these, all right. And even if you're kind of like in charge of the financial planning and your spouse um, or significant other really isn't really involved too much and they don't even care about the 60 40 whether what stocks you own um, you know they just want to get the snapshot of like okay where is everything and how is our money flowing in retirement or leading up to retirement you can download these um, these these images and then just share those with your um, with your spouse or significant other um, or anyone else in your in your financial plan that's relevant. So whether that is your kids or if you're helping your parents with with retirement planning and whatnot, you can easily bring them into the the picture here and and help them kind of with um, with the succession planning. So this is one area of Income Lab that I really like, um, but this is just scratching the surface. So after um, you kind of get to get familiar with the um, Life Hub area. <clears throat> there's a an area where you can where is it it is um, the household plan so this area is pretty cool because it it gives you your spending capacity and so what this number is is based off of what you currently have and the different income streams that you currently have and it will give you a spending capacity a proposed spending amount every month so as this number changes, let's just say it goes from 2 million to 2.1 million, it, the system will calculate what the income increase um, could potentially be to not 
um, um, break the sustainability of the of the income plan. And then same if the portfolio balance drops from two million to one point four million, um, you can see how the system will give you a essentially a pay cut. Um, in when whenever we're kind of in a bear market or your accounts aren't doing so well, um, the system will recalculate and give you an up to date number. And then you can dive into the it's also known as kind of the guardrails. So it'll kind of give you a, an estimate of the upside guardrail, downside guardrail. And um, what you can do is you can adjust the in view um, the settings for the guardrails. So the what that means is you can say, you know what, I want to push my limits. I want to have some higher spending. I know that I could potentially have to adjust a little bit more often um, because my I'm um, kind of pushing the limits a little bit with how much I'm spending. Um, but you have total control over increasing the guardrails and and um, you know making sure that you can maybe even pay yourself just a little bit more. So that's really cool. You can stress test your retirement plan. This is probably one of my favorite features is you can, um, all of this information that I've been showing so far is based off of data from 1871. So going back to 1871, the system calculates that proposed income number and says that based on what the markets have done, and in different economic environments, in different stock market environments, and, and what have you, interest rate environments, this is like that proposed number, right? So it was proposing $10,100. And as you can see here, it kind of evens out the ride a bit. So as opposed to riding your income way up and then riding it way down and riding it way up and riding it way down, um, you can just simply plan on paying yourself a um, an amount that isn't pushing it too much and um, but it, you're definitely not like underpaying yourself um, so to speak and this is back tested and in, in, in essentially stress tested all the way back to 1871 and so this this way of income modeling and figuring out your your monthly income number um, based on your portfolio and social security and your pension um, this is um, kind of like a very different way of figuring out what your best income, uh, monthly income amount is. A lot of portfolio software programs will use kind of like a hybrid approach of the 4% rule and um, you know maybe figuring out from a Monte Carlo uh, forecast, which is not back testing your situation according to what actually has happened. It's taking standard deviation and how you're invested and randomizing the outcomes and events and coming up with some sort of made up sustainable uh, monthly income number. So this is just very, it, it's a slightly different way of figuring out your monthly income, actually back tested, back testing your monthly income all the way back to the 18, 1870s and showing you what your income would have been every month from that time frame all the way through, well, uh, um, 1998, all right? Okay, so let's see here. We covered the Life Hub, we covered the household plan. Um, you can actually test this plan. Actually, I'm not gonna go into that. It's gonna take a little bit too long to calculate. Um, I'll show that on another video. Oh, let's see here. There's a tax center. So the tax center is pretty cool. This is how you can figure out whether Roth conversions are attractive or make sense for your situation. Looks like it's going to take just a second to load. Um, so if you haven't already, um, you know, be sure to check out the Retirement Planning Club. If you go to secureyourretirementnow.com, you can go and sign up for the Retirement Planning Club and actually um, jump on the phone with me to uh, kind of talk about the Retirement Planning Club and your financial situation. So if that's interesting to you um, to get a little bit of assistance from me, just go to secureyourretirementnow.com. Okay, so jumping back to the Income Lab um, Tax Center area, 
Um, this area is, like I said, all about optimizing for taxes, which is hence the tax center. And what you can do here is if you click edit, um, you can actually compare your average tax rate throughout the course of your retirement based on different distribution strategies and managing your tax bracket. So for instance, um, the, I would say common sense and very standard distribution strategy is taxable, tax deferred, tax free, right? So your, your um, individual account, your joint account, that is essentially taxed off of capital gains and dividends. Um, <clears throat> and then you have your IRA assets, pre-tax, and then you have your post um, tax free as post tax um, assets or your Roth. So that is kind of obviously the the um, the typical standard distribution strategy, um, which isn't terrible, um, but it doesn't take anything and it doesn't take Roth IRAs in, into consideration and in actually um, you know moving money from an account to another account to try to uh, minimize your your tax liability over the course of your retirement. So as you can see um, by just simply going and working your way through the 24% tax bracket, um, you can actually reduce your average um, um, lifetime tax rate by 6%, which is pretty cool how it gives you a um, the difference between the two in just a very simple way, and it can show you the total taxes um, owed and saved, which is great. So this makes it very easy to build different strategies and, and test different limits um, as far as working your way up to a certain tax bracket, processing some Roth conversions and, make, and seeing if that makes sense for you. Um, but also like that's all well and good. Um, you know, this, so the, strat the, the system is saying, hey, like it's, it could be the most optimal to just actually work your way through the 35% um, um, average t tax bracket. And that's, that's cool, but at the same time, um, that's a lot, that's pretty aggressive. Um, so another helpful area of the tax center and income lab is to see what the break-even point is. This type of um, break-even chart is not necessarily talked about very often. There's a lot of people who will push Roth conversions, how they're just so powerful and whatnot. They are and they can be, but for, they don't necessarily, it's not a, um, you know, kind of a blanket uh, um, solution for everybody um, because you have to look at the break even and then um, a lot of times the break even is just so distant into retirement um, that it necessarily doesn't make sense for for a lot, actually a lot of people and so um, this area is very useful because you might say you know what I'm gonna be 89 at that point I don't even really care to have any tax savings I really don't care that my estate is maybe you know, tax-free to heirs. I don't have any heirs to pass assets to, or you know, whatever it might be. Um, um, so this 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 is not talked about enough um, with Roth conversions. Uh, is is when is the you know break even for the um, twenty four percent strategy, or or you know the twenty two percent strategy, or filling up actually thirty five percent you know bracket um, strategy. So this is a really useful area, um, the tax center, and um, I'm not going to show you every little bit, you know, little piece of this platform, but um, the, these are probably my favorites. So we went over the tax center. You can out, you can check out your balance sheet. Um, you can create different scenarios. Oh, by the way, this is all on the client facing um, side. So if um, you do decide to reach out and you're like, hey Trent, I want to try, you know, Income Lab. What is that? How do I get you know sign up for Income Lab? Um, this is all um, as the like quote unquote client facing view, so you don't have to rely on the advisor to do this for you. You can actually go in and do everything that I've showed you for so far. You can link your accounts. You can view your balance sheet. You can go to the tax center and run different scenarios for for Roth conversions. Um, you can go in here and uh, use all of these features the cash flow chart, the historical analysis, you can test your plan. Um, you can run different scenarios and you can visit the life hub area and you can you know um, run a stress test on, on your um, on your plan. So just wanted to um, make that kind of clear that this is not 
um, actually, it can be advisor driven, um, but it's um, absolutely collaborative um, in the sense of a DIYer and self-directed um, planner can definitely go in on their end um, and, um, and, and make changes and, and do everything that I did today. So that is a super quick overview of the um, Income Lab tool and the kind of the features that come with it. Um, it's just another way to like, just to kind of summarize this, it's just another way to figure out what is that monthly income number in retirement. And there's a lot, like I said, there's a lot of people running Monte Carlos and kind of making these hypothetical forecasts of using your know, standard deviation and how you, you know stocks to bonds and asset allocation. That's great. That's another way to test the um, um, strength of your plan. But how cool is it to see actually see all the way back to 1871 what your income would have been um, um, had you have been invested a certain way and had a certain amount of money, what would your monthly income actually would have been and what how would it fluctuate over time, you know, according to your your asset allocation and your distributions and whatnot. So that's pretty cool. And then also the break even of the tax center area is like I said, um, pretty cool. And there really I don't think is a there's another tool out there that's um, self directed. Uh, um, that gives you the ability to model a Roth conversion and then see kind of the break-even point um, of, of actually processing that Roth, con um, Roth conversion. So I hope that was helpful today. Um, I just, again, I just wanted to force myself into just going live and sharing a tool that I've been using, which is called Income Lab and um, um, Income Solver and Income Strategy is no longer available. So if you're interested in giving this a go, I'm curious to, to, to kind of see if, you know, there's people that are, have been following me for a while that have been using the Income Strategy platform that no longer have access to it, who are looking for an, kind of like an alternative to creating their retirement income strategy and plan and Roth conversion strategy and plan. So if that's interesting to you and if you want to chat with me uh, and, and uh, learn more about how we can help you, go to secureyourretirementnow.com and um, it'll walk you through the steps of getting in touch with me and also joining the Retirement Planning Club, um, which is actually at like 420 or 30 members, which is crazy. I started the club, the Retirement Planning Club, uh, just about a year ago, and, and it's grown like weeds. <laughs> um, there's a lot of quality discussions being had, uh, and, and there's a lot of collabor collaboration um, in the Retirement Planning Club. So if you're looking for a community as a DIY investor to kind of plug into and collaborate with, with other DIY investors and, and uh, people who are seasoned, people who are new at DIYing, if you want to have some connection um, in a safe place um, where you can, you don't have to worry about getting pitched and having a bunch of sales pitches and whatnot, it's it's a great community um, to be a part of. So you can go to secureyourretirementnow.com to sign up um, and um, um, chat with me um, about how we can help you. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know, reach out, go to securityretirementnow.com, post below in the comments. If you thought this tool was pretty cool um, or potential, potentially useful for your situation, um, whether you liked it, if you like it, you know, give it, give it a thumbs up um, and a subscribe if you haven't already. This is Trent, the Retirement Planning Coach, and that's it for this video. I will see you on the next one. Take care.